Before we get started, let's have a look at you in the 80s. Let's kick off with, uh, with Phil. Let's have a look at you back in the 80s. <laughs> what was going on there? Uh, that, was, uh, that was me uh, outside the Hammersmith Odeon. Well, of uh, course it was you. <laughs> I was supporting the Style Council. And Weller, bless him, got my name put up outside. Porky. Porky the poet. Oh, yeah. That you? That was me. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Back then. Hasn't changed. <laughs> Jack, let's have a look at you in the 80s. <laughs> what, what were you doing in the 80s? I was. I what was did you do for a living back breathing, then? Breathing, eating. I was. I was. I was looking. I was trying to buy a jacket like the one Phil's wearing. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, a waiter for a long time. Don't well, yeah. stare at me. I'm no, no, answering imagine your be, questions. Imagine you'd be an incredible waiter. You'd be, I mean, because I mean, they work As a tips. really good waiter. Yeah, sure, because you're very friendly. Yeah. That sense of bonhomie. Yeah. And welcoming. Yeah. yeah. We, yeah, it's off. You can't have that today. People like that. <laughs> you know, like, you know, direct approach. <laughs> Can I have the chicken? No, you can't. I've already <laughs> said, it's off. <laughs> no, the opposite of the happy eater, the grumpy fucker. <laughs> uh, David, let's have a look at you in the 80s. <laughs> You look like me. You look like me. You are related. What? Did people throw those stones at you because you look so weird? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, let's have a look and see how similar to Alan you look in the 80s. Oh, you didn't know I was Oriental, did you? I <laughs> <laughs> didn't mention that on Who Do You Think You Are? Uh, Jason, uh, the Ooh. 80s. Let's, uh, let's have a look at you in the 80s. Oh, oh, she is lovely. She is hot, isn't she? <laughs> well, that's definitely me. Acid washed jeans. Acid washed expression. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But a lot more hair. And that was that back was in the neighbours' days, wasn't it? That was. What happened to the butch girl that worked in the garage? <laughs> Jeez, who knows? <laughs> Um, now, uh, Sarah, you used to present Blue oh, Peter. No, I'm dreading this in the now. 80s. Yeah. Look now, at that. You want to see a mullet? There it is. Look Night. at that. <laughs> it's pretty All good, right. though. So you presented Blue Peter in the 80s? Blue Peter was only like three seasons All and right. then going live. Yeah, let's have a look at you in action. Really? Or going live. Oh, oh yeah. No. Okay, Elliot, what's your question? I'd like to ask five star where there's no fucking crap. There's fucking mullet. Thanks very much, Elliot. Nice Bye. to hear from you. I'm sure <laughs> Tammy would have made a lot more sense. Let's move on to line three. <laughs> Sorry about that, I've been drinking. <laughs> I think that looks like Michael McIntyre in the in the in the bathroom. <gasps> you oh, oh my god! Is. That is Michael I... No, that is Michael McIntyre. Is it? His his yes, because his oh my mum god. worked oh, she knew someone who worked on this, so that is Michael McIntyre. Is that the most <laughs> random thing we could have found? That's weird. Is that David Mitchell sitting next to him? <laughs> I had a good 80s. This is, this is how I started the 80s. This is me, I think, in 1980. I thought you were still being built in the laboratory. <laughs> well, that's how the 80s started. This is how they finished. Wow. <laughs> you look like everyone's first girlfriend. <laughs> Siri on the, on the iPhone. Is it just my accent that it doesn't understand? I sometimes ask the questions that are on the advert to go, Siri does not understand. <laughs> Imagine how little it understands me. I'll say, like, ring home. it go, ring home? <laughs> if you push it far enough, my one says, uh, I, I say, oh, fuck off, then. And he goes, I'm doing my best, Adam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you got any idea? Come on. I've got an idea. We've done it. We're, we've, we've done it. You're yeah. way ahead of us. can rope, wasp, phone, bottom. <laughs> It's not a great bottom, is it? I've Tip got one, a feeling it? that the testicles are very, very low <laughs> in the front. <laughs> How low do they have to get before you can officially say they're dangerous? <laughs> that, yeah, they could be a trip hazard. I think it's... <laughs> as soon as they're hitting the toilet water, I think you need to have an off <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed, okay. Mickey, that uh, the older men get, the testicles become a slightly deeper colour? Deeper like, colour? Yeah, like, um... <laughs> Like the way beef ages nicely. <laughs> Siri, what colour are Jonathan Ross's bollocks? Just checking on that. Checking on that. They'll find a website. If you'd like me to search the web for what colour are Jonathan Ross's bollocks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a website called Jonathan Ross's bollocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So, uh, no point for Mickey and Carol, but Jonathan, Adam, Jason, Stephen, you get a point. Okay, marvellous. Next one. Finally, the Proclaimers asked you which issue the Society for the Preservation of the Real Thing was set up to campaign on. What did you put? New Coke. Yeah. Oh. Coca yeah, we Cola got that. Was real Coke. Coke. So, some really confident bloke at Coca Cola came in one day and went, So, I've got a new uh, flavour for this. I've got new ingredients and that, and they went, all right, let's do it. And they, and they, they came up with a new flavour of Coke, and everyone went mental because we were all addicted to the last one because it had Coke in it. And, um, <laughs> and, and then there was a campaign, and then some people said, oh, it's, it was all a big marketing ploy to, to trick us, but it wasn't. It was just some bell end at Coca-Cola who tried to change it. <laughs> it was good PR. I mean, it, at the same time, Pepsi was setting fire to Michael Jackson's head. So, you know... <laughs> What always fascinates me, millions and millions of pounds spent on these campaigns, Pepsi or Coke, Pepsi or Coke. You go in the pub, you go, I'll have a vodka and Diet Coke, the geezer goes, I've only got Pepsi, go all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you drink Diet Coke or regular no, Coke? No, I just drink proper, normal, full fat. What's the point? It's all bad for you. You may as well have it with sugar in it than some made-up shit. It's horrible. It's some people just horrible. want to get money out of advertising. That's the problem with these things. Anything for money. That's what they want to do, really, isn't it? Anyone who drinks that Pepsi shit, I tell you, <laughs> mad. <coughs> I'm just. <laughs> Vicky, the wife Vicky wants a new kitchen. <laughs> You're the worst advert for Diet Coke I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Sitting there and, yeah, and you're going. <laughs> 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 I'm just losing my belt while I'm swinging it. <laughs> <laughs> you see people in the chip shop, they go, I'll have uh, chicken chips, battered sausage, uh, throw a buttered roll in there, uh, I'll have a Diet Coke as well. <laughs> Trevor and Simon asked you, what were the names of the ghosts that followed Pac-Man? <laughs> Jason, Jack, what did you put? Uh, we put, we don't know. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> uh, what have you got there, Alan? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Phil, David. Okay, the leader was Blinky, right? <gasps> then the pink one was Pinky, the blue one was Inky, and then the orange one was the most stupid ghost, was Clyde. 100% <laughs> right, Phil Jupiter's. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. what sort of childhood you had. Get a life. Christ. Get a life. <laughs> that, that, in addition to the Pac-Man, there was a lot of masturbating. Right. <laughs> it was a full life. And fishing down the warren. That... Fishing down the warren. That, that's definitely that's like reason. a euphemism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, genuinely, there was some fishing like. Stop fishing, fishing down the warren up there, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mum ever walk in on you fishing down the warren? No, but <laughs> for some reason, my old man took a photo of me one morning. Came came into the bedroom, and I was in the middle. And I thankfully heard him just outside the door and stopped. But I've, I've seen this photo <laughs> in the family <laughs> album of me startled. <laughs> It's a very special face, I'm telling you right. <laughs> wow. Although, that's not as good as the story I heard about the bloke who used to wank with his headphones on, uh, bashed away, and then he finished, ah! When he went, and there's a cup of tea next to the bed. <laughs> Cycling was revolutionised in the 80s with the rise of BMX. Now BMX is an Olympic sport, which is odd. If they're allowing things I did at school into the Olympics, I don't know why they don't go the whole hog and include wedgies, Chinese burns and fingering. <laughs> Write some sporting questions for you from the 80s. Jimmy? Yeah? What's fingering? What's... what... Uh... <laughs> I've got to be careful with this, because when I was at school, there was an old teacher, she was about 90, right, and... Uh... I don't know why the way no, this is listen, going. No, listen... <laughs> Someone had stolen a ruler, we got to the end of the class, and she wouldn't let anyone go home, and she said... And she said, right, unless somebody fingers the culprit... <laughs> No, Carol, don't. if you hadn't have had that haircut, you would know what fingering was. Mistress of your own misfortune. Well, I, I would explain to you, but I think it's probably better if Mickey just lets you know during the next part. <laughs> have you ever done it, Jimmy? Because you're mocking Prince Charles there. At least he had a go. Do you Ooh. dance at all, Jimmy? Oh, yeah. oh, sounds like a challenge. Yeah. Oh, it did sound like a challenge, and I, you know what I'm like with a challenge. I'm going to try and ignore it and just move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be ploughing through. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else do any, any 
breakdancing anyone? I had a go at doing the one where you go down on your belly and do that. Can we can we do it now for you being framed? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we should do oh, it. Not really. Yeah. 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 Not really. Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go. <laughs> Please don't hurt your testicles. Oh my god. <laughs> Jimmy. It's just why No! <laughs> God, his hair's falling out! His yeah. hair's falling out! <laughs> no! <laughs> that was that genuinely... I don't think you could have designed a better way to break an angle. <laughs>